Hi there, I'm Sumit Bansal and in today's short video, I'm going to show you how you can use a simple VBA code to generate folders in bulk. So you can create tens, hundreds or even thousands of folders in a few seconds. So let me show you how it works. I have these folder names here in this column and I have a VBA code that I'm going to show you in the back end. But you just have to click this button, select the range, select the folder where you want these folders to be created. And it is going to create all of these folders. Now, if you have folders and within folders, you want subfolders like here, I want the invoices folder within the Sunrise Bakery folder, then you can have a structure like this. And then just click on this button and it is going to take care of all the folders and all the subfolders. So let me show you how it, this works. Here I have these names all i just need to do is click on this button when i do that it is going to ask for the range that has the names of folders so i'm going to select these then when i click ok it is going to ask me for the folder where i have uh, where i want to create it so let's go for this example folder and now when i click ok it has already created these 20 folders so i can go back to this example folder that i selected and you can see all of these folders have been created i have 20 items the other thing you can do is so let's delete them Let's go back to the Excel file. If I want to create folders and subfolders, you can have this structure where I would have the main folder and the subfolder name. So if you want to just create one folder, you will have main folder and nothing here. But if you want to create subfolders, then this is going to create two folders automatically. It is going to create invoices and Sunrise Bakery. If I use this one, it is going to create three folders. If a folder already exists, then that would not be created. So again, all I have to do is click on this button then select this range and click OK. And again, it is going to ask me the folder. Let's select this one, click OK. And it has automatically created these folders here. So let's go back and check. So I have these four folders. If I go into Sunrise Bakery, you can see I have invoices and contracts. If I go into invoices, there's nothing because there was nothing here in this uh, row. But if I go into contracts, then it has 2024 and 2025. So you can automatically create folders and any level of subfolders using this structure. Now, the way this is working is there is a VBA code in the backend. So I am going to give you this file. I am going to give you this VBA code in the description. So there is going to be a link. You can download the files and use it. Now, the way this works is you take that VBA code and you need to go to the VB editor and put that code. So to do that, I'm going to hold the Alt key and press the F11 key. When I do that, it opens the VB editor. Now, in your case, there is not going to be any code. So you go to the insert option here and then click on module. When you do that, it is going to insert a new module. And there is uh, this window where you can put the code. So copy the code and put it. You can see I have two uh, codes here. First is called create folders and the other one is called create nested folders. So you can copy this entire code, put it in uh, the module, close this and make sure that you save this file as a macro enabled file. So you save this as a .xlsm file. Now, once you have the code, you can run it. You can also create a button like this to do that. Just come here to insert tab, then click on this shapes option and then insert any shape you want. And then once you have it, you can format it, you can put uh, the text or the icons within it, uh, right click, go to assign macro, and then you can assign any of these macros. So for example, in this one, I've assigned create nested folders. And now when I have it, you'll see that now it has this clickable icon. So I can click on it, and it is going to run the macro. So it is very simple, just use this file. Or if you want to modify this code, you can take this code, put it in your file and modify it. Now full disclosure, I did not write this code manually, I used an AI tool to create it for me. And you can do the same if you want to modify this code, use any AI tool, be it the paid one, be it the free one, they are going to help you with the code, you can understand the code, and you make can make the modifications. Also, I created another video where I showed how you can rename thousands of files in one single go. So if you're interested, I'll have a link in the description as well. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.